It's Saturday. It is the weekend, but by no means does that mean the week has ended. By no means does that mean that you have to stop pushing, that you have to stop stretching to achieve your goals for this week. We all set intentions, we all set goals. And if I know my community right, then we have all been working hard towards them. It is 100% okay if you don't achieve them. It is 100% okay if you don't reach the finish line because guess what? Almost every week I come short, but every week I push, every week I stretch, and every week I try my best. I make each day count so that I know that I have done everything that I can to achieve my dreams. All right, vlog, so you know that I like to uh, record a lot of our voice, our conversations, business conversations. Just got off the phone talking with Justin, one of the other, first of all, one of my best friends. Second of all, one of the other investors other than JD in the business. Justin has done a lot for me, more than I could ever, ever, ever explain. And um, one of the things that he's always helped me do is keep the financials in order with Blue Ridge Hemp. So we just got off of a really important call about that. Justin, you wanna say what's up? Hey everyone, good Hell to yeah. talk to you. Hope you're all doing well. Hell yeah, I love you, man. Here I'm gonna in the camera now. Here, catch. You did it. That was an awful throw. That was a bad throw. Here, let's try again. Here, catch. <laughs> yep, I even put an extra layer of protection. So Mallory is checking out her. Christmas We're in this together. Raise your coffee. hand before speaking. Girders hate blurters. Because Mallory always raises her hand. In confusing situations when I don't know when to go into the conversation, but I really want to say something. Yeah. It's I will do it all the time. Just if there's more than four, three people. Whoa. All right, hold your breath. Oh, oh shit, we're going to the fucking seven? Yeah. This is like the slowest elevator in the whole world. And it's just the stinkiest elevator. It's not the worst. It's a gross elevator. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. It always messes up and like it goes to different floors. This really? is the elevator that I was in when the mom or the daughter got stuck on the other side of the elevator and the dad was like, you should hear something he was just like, Mom! I was like, what? I'm <laughs> so awesome. glad that I saw that. That's so awesome. I'm like, Mom! And then you're like, shit. <laughs> oh look, there's the star. Now let's go show him out. Oh, the kid was left alone. What do you mean? I'm gonna go show him the view. Okay. Alright, I'll be at the car in a second. Alright guys. Check it out. Asheville's fucking dope. That person knows it. So, just to give you some perspective, the store, you see that chimney stack right there? That is the back corner of the store. So our store stops right there. It goes all the way from like here in this line and then it comes to about here and then it goes like that. Oh yeah, and I totally didn't just come up here to show you guys that uh, Mallory's parking out here. And we are gonna go and possibly check out some couches because as you've been able to tell, I've been working on getting the uh, little area set up to be working at maximum potential. All right, now let's do this.
I keep missing all of the great moments. I should just leave the camera rolling sometimes. We just missed the Mallory road rage. I just don't understand. Like, I do it all the time, but when I do it, it's not a problem. <laughs> exactly. At least you have the self-awareness to know that, Mallory. But yeah, but only... usually, I, I'm very careful about it at, long, at lights that take a very long time to turn. Or try not to do it. I mostly don't at these lights. But usually it's at lights where I'm like the only person there. Or there's like one person in front of me, one person behind me. Is she? Right. What was the consensus, Mal? Okay, this store, RH or whatever, I'm sure there's probably like a fancy name for it, but their discount, the highest discount was 20% off of all their couches, so like, it was not good. It was not good. The other place at least had like a thousand dollars off. Yeah, but this still nothing. This place was like, oh. Nothing good compared to what we could get. Was 5,000, nothing good. 4,500 or something. Yeah, nothing good compared to what we already have lined up, so. Yeah. Moving on. The parking's perfect, Mel. Spectacular parking job. What? Spectacular parking job. Yeah, it was almost straight in, so it really You're helped. still limping, poor no, thing. No, I'm not. I would call that limping. Well, we had a failed attempt at, uh, at getting any kind of furniture, but that's okay. Yeah, instead, like a... we're gonna get some motherfucking food. How do you pronounce this place? Uh, Gan Shan Station. How the hell do we get sure? in? Where's the goddamn I'm pretty sure that's not how it's pronounced. Yeah. Gan Shan? How else would you swear? I swear that I was so crazy. Guys, I didn't even know. This one's more like quick service. Very yeah, lucky. What do you think, Mal? This will be interesting. It looked pretty good. Yeah. This looks pretty good too, this ramen. Ooh. I'm always looking for good ramen in Asheville, so if this is good, I'm gonna be stoked. Try one. Mm -hmm. You don't want it? No, I do. I kinda do. The soy sauce kind of freaks me out. Mm -hmm. All right, so consensus flavor on point, belly fulfillment. I'm super full, and uh, overall look pretty great. I'd give this place a solid 3.5. Would come back and eat again. Yeah, just because it was like decent. It was. I'll give it three. That's the same amount of stars they have on Yelp. Out of how many? Yeah, I give it a three. Or what about your what about your canned rosé, Mel? Nice. What would you give the canned rosé one? To okay, well, it has a fantastic design. Look at how fun this is. It tastes good. I just, I really like, I go by the cans and stuff. If you haven't been able to tell, it doesn't, like, it tastes good. One through good. five. Five. Holy shit. Inspiration. Right. Inspiration. That I'll sounds really like a rapey. Let me know if you need any help with anything. Okay, I will. I'll let you know I might need a place to stay. Okay. I don't know. Cause I tried being like, oh, I'm probably going to just like, stay on the couch, maybe. But. We can either stay at the other place or you can stay at my place. Whatever you want. See you later. Hey, check it out. There's me. One thing that I think could be really interesting right now is to share with you guys some of our tactics. On today's vlog, I was reminded about the fact that I told you guys that we were going to share more and more of how we've grown the business um, and some of these tactics that we have used um, and strategies that we've used to grow our business and grow our social media account. One of the things that um, most of you all know that we do is utilize influencer marketing. So uh, we work with people with bigger followings than us on social media with more influence than we personally have or uh, have as our business. And we then um, have them 
share with their audience, uh, share the attention with uh, and use the attention that they have and bring that to us. We've done that by sharing our products with people. Uh, we have started to get into some um, paid partnerships, which I have no problem telling you guys is something that we're starting to do. And um, we're always looking to continue to grow those relationships. So Instagram has been a key place for us to do that. And Joe Liz and I work together to help manage our influencer program. Um, I used to sit here um, at night for hours and hours and hours and hours, and I'm not kidding at all, sending hundreds and hundreds of direct messages every single night uh, in order to reach hopefully the next day or that night or eventually kind of just started like trickling in all over the place um, but hopefully to reach out of those hundreds of direct messages maybe 10 or 20 people that would be interested in just talking to us and then out of those 10 or 20 people maybe finding two to five of them that would be willing to try our products uh, we started out by just reaching out to people asking if they wanted to try our products and i would make sure to let people know and this is something that we still do to this day to let them know that we really just want to try we want them to try our products we really want to hear their feedback of course we would love to get a shout out we would love for them to share with their community what they feel about our products, but we've never asked that or set that as an expectation. I couldn't count how many times I've sent product out to people and never even heard back from them, um, but that's okay because now a year later, some of those people are coming back and being like, hey, remember when you shared that product? Well, I've been using it for a whole year. Um, so that's been a big strategy of ours um, as we've grown and what we've realized instead of working um, harder, we're working a little smarter while working hard at the same time. Um, and Joe Liz does a lot of that outreach because um, she has a better relationship with a lot of these people already in the first place. Um, and she's not doing all the other things that I'm doing. Um, so it's great to be able to split up those responsibilities. Um, so what was I was I've just been doing is kind of just going back um, through people and looking at different people that I have reached out to in the past that I never gotten a response to shooting those over to Joe Liz so that she can reach out to those people and we can probably and hopefully pick back up on some more of those relationships all right be 100% honest really haven't had much to film today uh, by no means did I take the day off but by all means did I take it easy today. I've been trying to give myself a little bit of a rest. Um, trying to get over this little bit of a cold. I don't know if you can hear my my sniffling. I even thought of making like a clip of a bunch of B-roll of me sneezing and coughing and blowing my nose and all that, but it might be kind of gross. So I don't I don't really know if you guys would want to watch that. But uh, just trying to take it easy. Trying to get over whatever this is and. Uh, get back at 100%. It's been a productive day though, getting a lot done, about to get the vlog up, and uh, just spending some time working on uh, honing my skills in this, which means uh, a lot of tutorials, a lot of, of videos and things like that, because to be 100% honest, uh, what we're doing here with the vlog and content creation has been a super main focus of mine over the past couple of months where I didn't necessarily see myself putting so much focus into this, but I'm always following my heart. I'm all, always gonna follow what makes me happy. And I've always said that the reason why I do all of this is to make me happy, to be selfishly selfless. And I feel like this is a great opportunity for me to do just that. A great opportunity for me to do something that makes me happy, do something that I love, but also something that brings a lot a tremendous amount of benefit to our community to y'all because the more content that we put out the more content that we create the more that we can do to bring attention to our why to our products and to our message and to our community then the more than we can do with all of this so as we come out with new products we're gonna come out with more content as we create new stories and keep on 
continuing along our journey, we are going to be creating content that is going to tell that story. I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm blessed with the opportunity to be doing this. So it's been a little bit of a different vlog today. Um, the vlog is always going to be changing, so I don't know if we're always going to stick with that same thing. Maybe one day uh, we'll actually have some good cinematography and stuff like that, and it'll be a, a cool one of those vlogs. You never know. All I know is that we're going to keep on trying, we're going to keep on progressing, and I am going to keep on having a whole lot of motherfucking fun. <laughs>